Okay, my name is James Lucas, and I am going to be explaining the uh, Japanese culture. First one is uh, the Japanese religion. Uh, Shinto and Buddhism are the dominant religions in Japan. Notably, the estimated population of each religion is, is almost identical. Approximately 70.4% of Japanese are Shinto, and 69.8% are Buddhist. Families. The um, the Japanese families are a foundational part of Japanese society. An individual's identity, reputation, obligations, and responsibilities are deeply connected to their family. Japanese jobs. Uh, in Japan, the hiring process itself is Japanese intensive. Uh, depending on what sort of role you would be interviewing for, you will need to write an entry sheet similar to a cover letter. This requires a high level of Japanese writing skills. There are also interviews slash group discussions requiring excellent Japanese speaking skills. Next is the traditional, uh, I will be explaining the traditional Japanese clothing. Uh, traditional Japanese clothing is a result of the thousands of years of cultural influence. Although many people in J Japan wear we Western-style clothing in their day-to-day -day life, there are traditional outfits that are worn for special events and remain an important part of the country's cultural heritage. Next, I will be talking about the norms in Japan. Um... For one, the traditional form of greeting uh, is a bow, which is right here below my uh, picture screen. Um, another is removing your shoes before you enter someone's home and putting on a pair of slip uh, slippers left at the doorway. Um, sterilized masks are off the morning pub public to avoid spreading infections. Uh, Japanese values. Japanese values are thoroughly rooted in all aspects of life and will always impact family, work, and social interactions. Family ties are strong in Japan and bind not only the living extended family but also generations of ancestors. You may notice that Japanese are not dem physically demonstrative in public and you won't see any kissing or hugging on the streets. Next is the Japanese food. Japanese is, is one of the most popular cu cuisines in the world and for a good reason. Based on the rules of five, traditional Japanese cooking or washoku wash emp emphasizes variety and balance. I was saying um, this is achieved through the use of five colors, black, white, red, yellow, and green. Five cooking techniques, raw food, grilling, steaming, boiling, and frying. And five flavors, sweet, spicy, salty, sour, and bitter. Okay, next is Japanese subculture. The fresh, colorful harvest of Japanese fashion is how pioneering photographer um, subject the wild and quirky street style of Tokyo. This city, had, Jap Japan, has a long has long been known for its expressive and cartoonish styles, and its ha Harajuku district is the gathering place for the for for the most flamboyant and youth tribes of all. The, this cradle of this cradle of in eccentricity full of fabulously inventive teen subgroups boomed in the 1990s. All right, next one is the Japanese currency slash money. Traveling to a, a okay, let's see. 
The official currency of Japan is yen. It's denoted around the world um, with the kanji character. The character aptly translates to round, describing the shape of Japanese coins. The first official Japanese coin states as far back as 704 during Japan's Asuka period. Before that, commodities such as rice and clothing were exchanged without currency. Okay, next is Japanese capital culture. And for this, uh, it's sort of similar just to how America was in the 1970s with the uh, counterculture and um, uh, hippie movement. And people, uh, they just were protesting and smoking and drinking and stuff like that. Just free living. It's basically like the counterculture was in Japan as well as in America and many other places. Uh, Japanese government. Okay. The 1947 Constitution establishes the principle of autonom autonom autonomy for local public entities. Significant powers are allotted to local assemblies, which are elected by direct public vote, as are their chief executive officers. Many matters related to labor, education, so social, welfare, and health, as well as land um, preservation and development, disaster pre prevention, and pollution control are dealt with by local governing bodies. Okay, Japanese symbols. Uh, the 16 petal chrysanthemum, I think I'm saying that right, is uh, the picture on the far left, usually white or orange in the crest or mon of the Japanese emperor and uh, is often seen displayed on the Shinto shrines throughout the country. The imperial regalia or the imperial regalia of Japan, also known as the three sacred treasures of Japan, are the sacred sword, mirror, and jewel. Symbolizing the imperial virtues of valor, wisdom, and benevolence. Next is the Japanese language. Um, the Japanese language has three types of characters. Hiragana, Katakana, Katakana, and Kanji. Hiragana and Katakana are phonic symbols, each representing one sy syllable, while kanji is an ideogram, each standing for a certain meaning. Next, we have the Japanese customs. One custom in Jap Japan is gift giving. Another is, as I said before, bowing. Uh, table manners, which everyone should have table manners. No matter what country you're in. The shoes. Shoes are never worn in a home. You always put them at the door. And you take their flip-flops. Names. Um, how do you use the name? Uh, dash uh, S-A-N or dash K-U-N. And also dash C-H-A-N for Japanese people's names. All right. Um, that is the customs. Next, we have the Japanese. Japanese sports, uh, sumo wrestling is um. If you get a chance to watch a sumo tournament during your visit, make sure you take while a single or highly single bout of highly technical pushing and shoving is over in a mere six seconds. The ritualistic aspect of the sport makes for an engrossing spectacle. Kendo is another sport. It's like things. It's like fencing, but with a Japanese twist. Judo, um, a famous Japanese martial artist, judo remains a strong element of the country's sports fabric and a major focus of Japanese Olympic efforts. Karate, which I have a black belt in karate, Kempo karate to be exact, and obviously baseball, and also soccer. Last but not least, we had the gender roles. In Japan, uh, there's two separate gender roles, male and female, obviously. And like most countries, there are gender roles, men and women. These set roles are changing. However, in recent years, they are not 
all the same as in the 1950s. Uh, there are many kinds of roles that people face in their daily lives, and they have been roughly divided into two categories, work and housework. When you divide it further, work can be divided into working outside and inside, and housework can be invite, divided into cooking, cleaning, washing, and doing dishes. And that is all I have about that, and thank you for listening.